Fiona Duncan, hello. Welcome to Playtime Interval Interviews. Oh, lovely. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait for a playtime. <laughs> where are Just you bring you on. Where are you in the world, Fiona? I have no idea where you are. Um, I'm about uh, 23 houses up the road from where you are. Oh, end. really? Yes. Yes. You live in I live in... I live in the, street, the same street as you live. <laughs> Happy La song coming why didn't, you, why didn't you tell me? I would have come and visited before now. <laughs> well, you're not allowed to do that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. This is terrible. <laughs> no, if, if to, to, to the people watching, um, what is your, what's our relationship, Fiona? Um, well, it's... It's really quite difficult. <laughs> kind of in the same family, aren't we? So, like, can we say? Yes, 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 we are. We're and definitely my, my related. Wife, you're in the same family yes. as my wife. So that's right. That's correct. And yeah. uh, I'm married to her, and we've had children and stuff like that. <laughs> so there was. <laughs> can I tell a story about the gig in Shetland? If you like. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were doing a gig in Shetland, and Fiona was introducing the band. And she said, and on drums is Tom, and he's like almost family. <laughs> I was going, I'm married, I'm married to have children, what do you want me to do? What more can I do? Anyway, um, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm reasonably well down. under the circumstances. I just feel, uh, I'm sitting there thinking, waiting for you calling, and thinking, this is really, you know, it's for all the younger ones. I feel feel really sad about this whole situation because, you know, I've seen all the younger ones, all, I used to call them my jazz babies, you know, Ryan Quigley and Tom McNiven. And, and, and I feel now that, you know, we've had, I've had my time. I've had a great life and a funny life. Didn't make a lot of money, but, I mean, who cares? Uh, when you get to this stage, it doesn't really matter. But the kids, you know, there's nothing to fall back on. And, and I just feel so sad for all of them, you know. And I'm so pleased that you're doing this thing because everybody's getting a wee short, you know. And, you know, I feel very honoured to be asked to do it, you know. So um, what, what are you doing next week? What's the, what's the, what are you going to be playing? Well, it's... Who with? Well, I haven't seen... Uh, my, my, I call him my piano player, but he's not mine. But I think he is. <laughs> Do you Brian Kelly. Him? Do you kind of I haven't seen him for six months, and I've spoken to him nearly every week. And it's been, how are you getting on? Oh, and how are you getting on? Oh. <laughs> and are you, are you, are you, are you, so are you going to be doing some songs next week that you haven't done on gigs before? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know, it's scary. Scary the biscuits. Thing, the thing is, is but that I'm your, listen, I'm your second piano player, Fiona, is that correct? Would you say that was correct? Yes, it would be, yes. <laughs> in the days when we used to be able to congregate in each other's houses, and you came up and <laughs> uh, played the piano. Uh, right, so I played so, the piano really badly. It was, it was well, it was... Um, uh, ponderous, shall I say. <laughs> well, everything I do is ponderous, but it was particularly bad. But, and, but uh, Gina used to shout at you much more than I did. <laughs> but what was interesting because... is that I would, get the, I would get the real book and I would just play, the, just play random songs and you seem to know all, right. all of them. You seem to, seem to know all these songs and I'd never heard you sing, sing them on gigs and you knew all the words. No, well, I do know them all. I can go through the fake book and about every third number in any fake book, I know, you know, but, you know, you know it to a degree. Um, all these songs I heard when I was 14, 15, 16, with my brother, you know, who was heavily into, and my sister, both heavily into jazz. And uh, I heard all of these songs. I heard everything that Frank Sinatra did. Uh, from songs for swinging lovers and I mean I can sing them and I know the phrases because they're in my head but I've actually never verbalized them 
you know, in front of an audience, <laughs> and suddenly, but I won't have to do that this week. That's uh, well, this is going to be funny be out, too. They'll be out there in the world. They'll be out there. But, but the thing right. is, when you can't see them, it's very difficult. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you have to feel them through the, you know. Through yeah, the... but you do. You feel the pressure. Yes. <laughs> Oh well, dear. We're really, we're anyway, really excited. That's... We're really excited about you doing this gig, and it's a very, very special gig. And you and Brian together oh, is, an, is an amazing combination. The two of you are so you're so. Oh, I just he's, he's great with me. I mean, I mean, he knows me as well as anybody does, and uh, you know, uh, he waits for me. He 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 just knows where I'm. But if I can. If I can fool Brian, you know, if I can do something that he hasn't heard before and I get the wee look, you know, he looks up at me and I think, ah, uh -huh, I got you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's great. It's a great, I love working with him great. because it's it's like, you know, it's like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's great. I love it. I love it. But I must say that I also really love working with Paul and Dave Milligan. Yes. Well, as you probably know, <laughs> Paul's, so... Paul's doing a gig tonight, so do you want to just, you can send him a message and he, he, he'll he be listening. Oh, I certainly will. Is Paul on tonight? Yeah. Yes, oh, he is. that's great. Oh, that's great. That's great. Because um, he, I always thought he was really quiet until I worked with him, and then you find out he's not really as quiet as you mm. think. <laughs> And his he, mum he and dad had, are had, lovely. I remember them. <laughs> we we had him on uh, we had him on the um, playtime when we were doing the remote sessions, and he he so, uh, on Zoom, and he suddenly had this. Uh, it was a two word uh, backdrop. The second word was Boris, and the first word rhymes with duck, um, <laughs> which he showed during the during the playtime Zoom session, which was very funny. But listen, Fiona, <laughs> I think we're going to have to wrap that up because um, that's about enough time. And so All right. we're looking forward listen, to seeing thanks, you next week. Listen, thanks, Tom. And, oh, thank and I really, you know, I really, really am I'm desperate to raise some money for Playtime because you've kept it going through this whole thing. Like so many, there's, I'm so knocked out with what everybody's been able to do. You know, it's, and some great sounds coming out now. You know, you've all had your... Oh, it's a been a trial, but it's great. It's absolutely great. I love it. And I just hope that, you know, we get enough, raise enough money we need to for it. Uh, so people can time. Go, and buy the, go and buy the tickets. The, the, I'll put the, the link on the screen, and it's also going to be on the Facebook page and everywhere else. You can just click on the link. Anyway, Fiona, thank All you right. so much. We'll see you next week. Tom, thanks. See you next week, darling. Take care. Okay, Right, so, Matt Elliott, welcome to Playtime Interval Interviews. This is very exciting to be here, mate. Very exciting to be here. How you doing? I'm just making you bigger. Um, I'm good, yeah. So, you're the, you're the mysterious um, face. And uh, I'm just going to put us next to each other. Because I was saying that we've got the same emo emoji in our phones. Because <laughs> we've got the same glasses and beard. Obviously, my hair's more exciting than yours, but it is, it is at the moment, mate. Unfortunately, my 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 curl hecan, as my kids call it, uh, and my my uh, tram lines have all grown out. So they, they you, you had a out. mohawk, didn't you, at some point? In I did. Yeah, it was it was the the early lockdown haircut, mate. It was good. It was good. And as well as being uh, <clears throat> as well as being a I'm going to go back to, as well as being a um, visual and audio genius, you live across the road. I do, I do. Which is kind of we, handy. We, we wave to each other often. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, what brought you to Pathhead? Oh, um, well, we used, to, we used to stay in Edinburgh City Centre um, and uh, in a place called Dean Village, which is very nice in the West End um, of Edinburgh. And... Um, yeah, we had, a, we had a little flat. Um, it, it was it was quite a small flat, and then we when we started having children, um, we we kind of that's a terrible to, idea. Uh, we decided to uh, yeah kind of look, look out and about, and um, yeah, to be honest, we, we we actually heard 
about the Pathhead Music Collective. Um, so that was, it seemed like, oh, you know, might be some cool people living here, you know, kind of uh, come check it out. Um, and then there was this, uh, the flat that we, we live in now that was on the market. So we could come out and like the flat and, you know, uh, so it, involved in all the community stuff. It's been brilliant. Is it a terrible disappointment? Not at all, mate. The <laughs> best thing we ever did. Best thing we ever did. There might, you must have been hoping to get some more interesting musicians than the ones that are actually here, surely. Well, I, th I think it's, uh, you know, we, we keep keep finding new people and uh, new people <laughs> to play with and get involved with and stuff. It's a never, never ending list of musicians living in Path Edmund. <laughs> and then, so tell us a bit about, because I think people are, are knocked out with what you do for playtime in the hall. And, and so what, what actually are you doing? How many bits of equipment do you have when you're shooting a playtime gig? Uh, okay, so um, it's basically uh, a lighting person, a sound person, a camera person, and a vision mixer, all in one. So you're so doing four all, jobs. All, yeah, so all of those jobs uh, on like a, you know, like a big show or a conference or, or something, you'd have kind of one person or maybe even two, depending on how big it is, uh, looking after each of those areas. So. That's kind of what we do uh, for, for, for the playtime thing. Um, and when you say we, you mean you, but multiple yous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> each, each one of the, uh, the, the different mats um, <laughs> comes out depending on what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely balanced, though. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. And you never seem to get stressed out um, by anything. Uh, well, well, that's that's good to know. That's good to know. I do spend a long time working for uh, you know in conference and events, um, so a, a really good uh, skill, if it's a skill to have, is is not getting flustered. Um, you know, whatever people ask you to do, you're like, well, we'll see what we can do and try and make it work and what have you. So, because we've been through a bit of a technical learning curve, haven't we, with playtime live streams? Yeah, I think we've come a long way, mate, to be honest. I mean, I, like, I, I, was, I was going through the YouTube list uh, a couple of nights ago, just looking at the early ones and like, seeing what we did there. And Yeah, I, th I think we've done, we've done all right, mate, haven't we? We've done all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, been absolutely. kind of fun, apart from a couple of moments of terror and stress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think some of the, the middle ones, kind of, like the early ones were fun because we'd just never done it before, and it was like, oh, yeah, this is, this is cool. The middle ones, yeah, I think a couple of them took uh, years off my life, I think. <laughs> um, I think it's just that thing where everything's going fine and all of a sudden you look down and your stream has stopped, but you're, you think it's all good and you're like, oh, no, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, and then everyone, of, everyone that's watching is going on Facebook saying, oh, the video's gone. Yeah. Oh, the video's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm playing the drums and I'm looking over and I can see it. I can see it on my phone. Yeah. And I'm I going, oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, I, th I think the worst one, though, I think the worst one of that was, I think we had, when we met on the Wednesday or something, you know, we'd had a drop out the week before and we went in to try and test some stuff. And you literally did the introduction having just said that we'd spent yesterday doing, like, you know, trying to iron out all the gremlins and stuff. And you know, hopefully it was all going to be good. And then a completely different technical issue happened and the mixer wouldn't work. Do you remember the sound just dropped Yes, out? I remember. You're literally just saying, like, you know, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have no technical. <laughs> and there's me going, no! Yeah, that was when we, we spent the whole Wednesday trying to work out what was going wrong. We decided it was the mobile connection. The so I ran this cable yeah. from my house through the guttering of two pensioners, my two neighbours that are both pensioners. And it kind of went through the guttering and then into the hall. And then that oh. worked like a dream. It caught a pg2 connection yeah, to pensioners yeah. guttering and um and then you what was it your usb hub went down or something the um yeah uh-huh yeah so it was the uh, it was just the connection from the from the mixer to the to the computer um it was a usb hub um so yeah unforeseen never happened before it was like oh that's a new one and Add did anything go wrong in the first half of this gig um, I think it all went really, really well. Um, I, th I don't think we had any. T totally jinxed it now, and I <laughs> totally jinxed it. It's going to be awful, mate. It's going to be absolutely. All right. Well, listen. Thank you very, very much for everything that you do because you're absolutely incredible. And um, I, I'm sure everybody out there 
is very grateful to you as well that watches and it's nice to have your beautiful face on the screen. <laughs> no worries, man. It's good to be involved. It's good All right, we better get back to work. Yeah. See you, see you soon, All right, buddy. Cheers, Matt. Thanks a lot, man. See you later, mate. Bye.